Hi everybody, this is Christy. I am the Intimate Warrior. I thank you so much for stopping by. And as always, I send you love. Today's video is about Bell Tain, which is celebrated between April the 30th and May the 1st. Bell Tain basically honors life. This is the midway point we are halfway into the summer equinox. So May the 1st is the peak of spring and marks the beginning of summer. Everything is awakening. The Celts often celebrated Two seasons, summer and winter. Summer being Beltane and Samhain being winter. Of course, what we take from these traditions um, are considerably different from what our ancestors have done. So Beltane is the cross-quarter day that marks the midpoint in spring. We are now halfway between the spring equinox and the summer solstice. You can definitely sense a different type of energy already. Being that everything is awakening, the sun, the days are longer, the sun is shining more things are awakening. Beltane is a celebratory day where they celebrate life, the earth. It is about celebrating fertility, abundance, creation, life in general. This is the, the Beltane is how they celebrated Mother Earth. Beltane takes place during Taurus season, which you know that we are currently within. And it is mostly about, or it is about the element of fire. Fire signifies fertility. It signifies creation. Now, earth energies are at their strongest and very and the most active during this time. Of course, we know during spring and summer, everything is awakening. All of life is bursting with post potent fertility. And at this point in this will of the year, the potential becomes conception. So on May Eve, which is April the 30th, the sexuality of life in the earth is at its peak. Abundant fertility on all levels is the central theme. The maiden goddess has reached her fullness. She is the manifestation of growth and renewal. And her name is Aflora, the goddess of spring, the May queen, the May bride, the young oak king as Jack in the green, as the green man falls in love with her and wins her hand. The union is consummated and the May queen becomes pregnant. Together, the May Queen and the May King are symbols of the sacred marriage, something that I have talked about within the hero Gamos, which is the union of earth and sky. And this union has merely been reenacted by humans throughout the centuries. And I find that very interesting. And I'm going to go back and talk about the hero Gamos. 
So the hero gamos is the wedded garment of God, wearing the white robes of the one. Hero gamos refers to the risen Christos Sophia as the embodiment of the, of the inner hero gamic union between the human being and the divine. Hero gamos is the full resurrection of the body to the eternal light of Christos, or cosmic Christ consciousness. In the body's return to energetic balance, neutral in the unity field or zero point, the light body being is one with God, and the Christos body is glorified in its perfection as, rep as representative of God's eternal light image. In Hero Gamo's coupling, the genetic equal of the monad unites with its counterpart to embody the sacred marriage of Christic equals, to merge into one spiritual body, to hold the spirits of Christ. A Christic male and a Christic female unite in Hero Gamos, or the rod and staff union as the Christos Sophia, to be of service within the God's eternal light divine plan to correct the Sophonic body, and to restore liberation of ascension upon the earth. The Hero Gamos is the embodiment of the new cosmic ray frequencies of Mother Arc Aquamarine and Father Arc Emerald Green Hues and their DNA lens being introduced to the universe. So it's pretty significant um, knowing that even our ancestors have created a day of great celebration of the divine marriage and sacred union between or within themselves. They manifested a, a, a day, a time of when all of this can awaken um, within the reality. So they celebrated, they danced throughout the night um, and performed ceremonies. Um, they some of them got married. Um, they consummated during this evening. And um, this is basically a great day to, to be thankful for the life that is unfolding. Um, You know, because when we think about fertility here, or cre it's in terms of creation. It's, it doesn't mean because only for women to be fertile or men to be fertile with our um, being able to procreate that way um, to bring a child into this earth. Being fertile means that we can create anything within our own life with great purpose. And that is the point of true creation, to be able to create with great purpose, with great intentions, with great love. The It is said that um, on Beltane, or during Beltane, or this time, that the the veil between the human world and the fairy world is at its thinnest. Thus, the celebration of fairies tend to be the ones who are helping with the earth in its bloom. So Beltane, in general, is a time to celebrate all pleasures in being alive. It is the return of love. It is a return of light. This is Christy. Much love, health, and healing your way. I am bringing purpose to your life. Take care.